here's a video for those interested in production framing. And this would relate more to the fact that you're not building a piano, you're building a house. And these numbers will change depending upon the angle of the stairway. For example, here we have a 7.5 inch riser height and a 10 inch tread depth. And if I want to place my stud 16 inches on center, I can lay them out. I can grab a level, level up, make a mark, and then measure each individual stud. But that really isn't necessary. We could simply subtract 10 inches, 11 inches, or 12 inches off of the tallest angled stud under our stairway. And unless you're insulating this particular section of the stairway, it's not really going to matter much, even if the drywaller needs to make one cut on a longer stairway. And this is actually what I did as a production stair builder. I didn't use any other measurement but 10 inches because it was easy to remember. If I measured 35 and a quarter inches, I wouldn't use the quarter inch mark. I would just go to 35 inches and on my next angled stud it would be 25 inches and then 15 inches. And the studs would be spaced about 14 to 15 inches on center. And in order to make this work you will have to bring the angle up if you have a ledger like this. You're going to have to measure up to here. And you don't have to be right on the money to get this. You don't have to get a straight edge and mark it. You can just grab your tape and figure out about where it's going to be. Because again, we're not building a piano here. And if I make the stairs a little bit steeper and lay them out 16 inches on center, you can see we're going to have a small one here. And it really isn't going to matter if we move it over a little bit by simply subtracting 10 inches off of each angled stud by creating something like this. And in our last example, we are going to change the riser height to 6 inches. And you can see here where if we subtract 10 inches off of the longest angled stud, we're going to be almost right on the money at 16 inches on center. And if I do want a little more accuracy, I can just simply measure the difference between two of the 16 inch on center angled studs. And to do that, I would just simply go over 16 inches and then either plumb up with my level or measure over from a plumb studs or something that is vertical and then measure over 16 inches and then just simply measure the length of the two studs and subtract to find the difference. And in this case here, it's 9.625 or 9 and 5 eighths of an inch. And I'm just simply going to subtract that number from each one of the angled studs, working my way down to the last stud. So not too difficult, I hope. However, if you have a better way or a question about something in the video, feel free to share it with us in the comment area.